okay? Let me turn this down. All right, okay, so again, my name is Tara Cribs, and I'm an executive manager with Pink Zebra. Um, I've been with this uh, wonderful opportunity now since, oh gosh, 2000 and Christmas 2012. So I'm going on year five. Um, and it's been a fun, interesting ride, I tell you. Okay, can't you tell? Okay. All right, so today's training. Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, as I said earlier, this will be available for replay, so I'm sure there's many of you who are enjoying the evening, and that's all good, all right? So I thought what I could at least do today for some of, some of you who may not be out and about, that we can do a recap of the training that happened at rallies back in January. And for those of you who don't know what rallies are, they are basically a Pink Zebra corporate event that take place um, three, three times a year. In January, April, then we have, in July, we have um, our family reunion, and then we have another rally again in October. So we just had a rally um, a few weeks ago, January 24th or something like that. Okay, and at each rally, we have training that takes place that's delivered by a top, uh, top leader in the, in, the, in the business, okay? I'm one of them, but there's typically 50 or so that they will send out to different cities throughout the country. And we basically do this event for you. We have um, a full presentation that they give us, okay? And we deliver this. And we bring in our own excitement and our own little personalities to it, but we pretty much um, have an outline that we go by. So I thought the training, hey Patricia, I thought the training was pretty good. Um, I thought maybe we'll go ahead and take a moment, actually a few, and let's go ahead and talk a little bit, of, excuse me, about going from stuck to start, okay? So I'm going to take a sip here. I'm going to take several sips as we get through this, all right? I've already started, so I don't know. Um, Hopefully I can stay focused, right? All right, let me get to the page here. Um, let's see here. All right. Okay. All right, so what does that mean, going from stuck to start? Okay, a lot of that has to do with developing the right mindset, right? I mean, I'm actually of the, of the school of thought that 70% of your success in this business have to do with having the right mindset before you actually start, okay? Before you actually start, you have to have the right mindset. And then the other 30% has to do with the hustle, the grind, making your sales, um, booking the parties, Getting up, passing out the uh, you know the catalogs, talking and and chatting and meeting people, doing your vendor shows and you know connecting and all that stuff. Okay, but I can sit here and I can tell you until I'm blue in the face, right? Um, what steps to do to do a sprinkle party? I mean, I'm sorry, do a candle party. What it takes and what product you need in order to do a successful sprinkle bar. I mean, I can. I can, there's no amount of tap dancing that I can do to make you want to work your business unless your mindset is right before you start. And I think that's where a lot of people, where they shortchange themselves. You know, they kind of go into an opportunity like a pink zebra or whether it be an Avon or a Mary Kay. Um, hey, Regina. Hey, Jackie. Okay. And then uh, Patricia, thank you for, for, for watching. Okay. Um, so whether it be Pink Zebra or, or Avon or Mary, or I forgot where my train of thought. <laughs> so, okay. So 
I guess I'm trying to say is, I mean, it, it does, irrespective of the opportunity itself, it doesn't matter. You know, if, if you can't get rid of stinking thinking, if you can't get out of your own way, I don't know if you're going to be in this opportunity very long, you guys. And I do believe, though, with all of my heart, that Pink Zebra, though, is going to give you probably the biggest amount of success than, than you would probably selling anything else because most people love smell goods. Okay? Looks like my connection is a little weak. Ah, I'm sure it'll straighten itself out in a moment. Okay? All right. But I do believe, though, with Pink Zebra, you will have a greater amount of success because of the product that we sell. I mean, most people love smell goods. And if you can simply just invite someone to take a sniff of, your, of, of a jar of sprinkles, I mean, you're halfway there. It's not like trying to convince someone to purchase, you know, a handbag, you know, stuff that they may not really need. You know what I mean? Most people really feel a sense of enjoyment or a, um, some euphoria when, when they have, you know, scents around them. Okay, so for that reason, I believe Pink Zebra has an edge over many of the products that are typically sold in a direct sales opportunity. Okay, so we can all rocket our business to new levels if we begin with the right mindset, especially for 2017. Okay, I want you to take, a, I want you to close your eyes for a minute. You okay, baby? Chloe. Um, ho ho hold on, you guys. Come here. Are you okay? Come here. Ah, I want you to say hi to Dearest Everybody. I want you to say hi. Okay? Yeah, she was over there choking, so sorry, you guys. Okay, so um, as I was saying, I want you to close your eyes for a minute. I want you to think about this statement, okay, and really visualize what it means to you. Your present situation is not your final destination, but your business will only grow as big as your vision. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Your present situation, excuse me, it is not your final destination, but your business will only grow as big as your vision. I promise you, most top leaders, when they actually find success in an opportunity like Pink Zebra, they didn't think small. Oh, no. 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 You don't get to be in the top 1% of any direct sales company here, okay? When I joined Pink Zebra, I promise you, my vision was huge, and I had no direct sales experience before. Um, I had never done a home party before. I had never, um, not only did one, but I had never even went to a home show. I have never been to a Mary Kay or an Avon party. I had no, I, mean, I, told, my, I told my sponsor, I said, look, I'm going to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm interested. I mean, but originally I wasn't, but she called me back and she asked me to, you know, kind of at least, you know, be a customer. And I told her I would, okay? But my, my whole point here is I needed to make a minimum of $3,000. That was my success story. That's what I wanted to make, okay? And I couldn't, and you can't make that kind of money with the small vision, okay? Now, we all may not start off in the same spot, Okay? You may, success for you may be way different. Maybe you're looking for something to do to buy time. Maybe, you know, you're looking for a hobby. You know, maybe you're looking to make an extra two to three hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars a week. Okay. Um, but to be a top leader in this, in this opportunity, I believe if you polled most of us, we came in here with a big vision. Okay. And it, typically it's going to take more than three weeks. To really see if it's even possible okay I personally gave it 12 to 18 months before I would even judge it okay so I digress I'm going to talk more about that as we move forward in the training okay but ideally I want you to all understand that your present situation it is not your final des destination and you will only grow as big as your vision 
Now, you all probably look at this in a whole different light, and that's fine because we all have different dreams and different expectations, okay? Um, but I'm assuming for a moment that because you are here live with me right now, or if you decide to watch this, or, or you're someone who's watching this later on a replay, you're doing this and you're watching this because you really want to take your, your business to the next level, um, and you really want to take it, uh, I'm sorry, and you really want to you know, take it, you really want 2017 to be the year that you make a difference, okay? And to accomplish success, you need to develop the right mindset. Let's talk about what that mindset looks like, okay? First, you really, really, okay, I mean really have to believe that you are in an amazing opportunity with Pink Zebra, okay, bar none, and that it can completely change your life your family's life, as well as the lives of people that are actually around you. Visualize for a moment what that can actually look like. And I challenge you to actually imagine what that could feel like, okay? Um, to be able to take your pink zebra commission checks or that money that you're making on sales and just knock down that debt, just taking that extra income or additional income and just throwing it on debt that has been piled up here and you're knocking it out and you're knocking it out. Can you imagine what that would feel like? What if your family had never been on a vacation, but you're using your pink zebra monies, right? To take your family on an all expense paid vacation. I mean, you're changing their lives, but can you imagine what that would feel like for you? to be able to accomplish that kind of a goal? I mean, it's possible with Pink Zebra. I mean, I had a vision that I wanted, I wanted a new car. I mean, I mean I've mean, i always had, you know, decent average cars, but I never had a real nice sports car, right? So that was a vision that I had for myself. And it wouldn't be possible if I didn't plan for that months earlier. But I went to go visit a really nice, you know, dealership before I hit executive manager. And I saw the car that I wanted. I knew exactly the year, the make, model, the color before I even had the money. I visualized it first. I put it on my, on my refrigerator. Um, I thought about it every day. It was the thing that got me up every day, every weekend to want to do a vendor event, to go make that extra call, to make that extra booking, you know, um, to get out there and make that extra sale, to go out and make sure that if someone bought some product from me that I dropped the opportunity um, phrase to them. And I, and with that visualization, came my reality, you guys. I got my Audi 2015 brand new off the lot, paid for all by pink zebra commission checks, okay? It's not one of these things where you go into an opportunity like pink zebra and you say, oh, I'll just sit back and I'll just, I'll just see. I'll just let it see what it do. Mm-mm, mm-mm. That's not what's gonna get you the kind of change that I think you all deserve, okay? All right, so let's move on. Understand this, that you do have high quality consumable products that people love, okay? A company that believes in you, okay? It's strong. I mean, Tom and Kelly Gaines, you guys, this is not their first rodeo, okay? They've been in uh, the industry, and I don't mean direct sales, but the candle business for years. If you or anyone you know bought a candle in the last 20 years, they bought it from, from Tom and Kelly Gaines. Okay? They were the largest supplier of candle products in the country. They were making products for Bed Bath & Beyond, Pier 1, Walmart. They were private labeling all of these candle fragrance products for these big box retail chains. Okay, so they have the years of experience. Okay, they just gave us an opportunity as direct sales entrepreneurs to get in 
on some of this cake, okay? So we're, we should be very thankful for that. But understand that it's rock solid. These people know what they're doing, okay? Um, our business model is solid, okay? It's paying money. I'll go on record, and I'll tell you. And I'll show you for anyone who wants to see my checks. But I personally made over the four months, I'm sorry, the four years that I've been in Pink Zebra, over $60,000 cash money. I have my W, was it W4s or W2s? The opportunity is real, okay? The opportunity is real for those of you who want to get out and work the business. Remember, 70% of this is mindset. If I had went into, into Pink Zebra with the mindset of, of, oh, I'll just wait and I'll just see, Nothing good would, would, would have happened to me, okay? But because I went in with the mindset of, okay, I'm going to give this 12 to 18 months, and I don't care if people tell me that my opportunity or that pink zebra sucks. I don't care if people told me that, uh, that my products are no good. I don't care. I didn't care if people told me that pink zebra was a pyramid scheme. I didn't care. My why was bigger than anything, anything and I wouldn't let no one knock me off of that no one okay my commitment was 12 to 18 months that was my mindset I would work my business um seven oh that I would do you know seven to ten events per month and I still work full time I just made the time to get it done I mean, that meant cutting out extracurricular activities. I used to play a lot of tennis. That had to go. You know, I used to, you know, spend a lot of time, you know, just doing things that I wanted to do. Okay? But I knew if I made the time up front and I didn't, and I didn't prejudge the opportunity that I truly gave myself a chance, that this was something very powerful. Bigger than me. Right? Even then... I didn't even do candles, but I knew a lot of people that did. I knew a lot of people out there love smell goods. And if I had something that was better, good, or at least better than what they was able to get at the, at the, at the retail stores, I knew I, I knew I had something. Okay. And especially when I would see how people would react when they would come up to my sprinkle bar, because understand this, I was only number 28 in the entire state of Georgia to be a Pink Zebra consultant. So nobody knew. No one knew what we had. So we were out here, you know, paving, you know, paving the way, you know, making it happen, you know, making sure people smelled the product. So we had to go out there. We were the pioneers, okay? So I had to believe, <laughs> you know, because there wasn't anybody, you know, setting the pace before me. We were it. Okay. All right, so um, all right, so let's see where where are we here? I'm getting off track here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you are in a direct sales opportunity like Pink Zebra at the very best time. When I started five years ago, I mean we were it. Okay, we went through the bumps and the bruises, the highs and the lows with this company. Okay, five years later, a lot of you now are just getting in the mix. And it couldn't be a better time. I promise you that. Okay? And not to mention, a lot of you are looking for flexibility in your work schedule. You know, you're looking for a tremendous growth opportunity. And the fact of the matter is, we are going international this year. So we've done all the foundation. We've done all the legwork. Now we're getting ready to pitch our tent into Canada. And we have an opportunity now, okay, to now start... Can you imagine how huge that's going to be? You know how many wealthy Americans are about to explode because all those people have to go somewhere. Why not underneath you? Why not underneath us? Okay? Pink Zebra, I'm telling you, it's the truth. All right? It's the truth. Okay? Secondly, you have to 100% believe that it is okay to be in this industry. You can't let doubters um, make you second guess yourself. A lot of you, you know, I, I mean, well, yeah, not really from like my parents or my family, or really. You know, they, they, they knew I was, you know, hey, 
it is probably a good thing. If Tara's in it, then yeah, it's, it's a good, and we're going to support her. But a lot of you may not have that kind of, uh, you know, that kind of, um, I don't know, people or your family is 100% behind you. You may have to, you may be feeling pressure, you know, um, you're constantly, you know, trying to, what do you call it, prove yourself to folks. Hey, no, no, you know, this is legitimate. No one likes to really be in that kind of situation, but a lot of you may be feeling that way, all right? Um, and you got to, look, I challenge you. Stop taking advice from your broke friends, especially when it comes to business decisions. I'm going to repeat that one more time. I'm going to say it a little bit differently. Stop taking advice. Stop taking business advice from your broke friends. When you stop doing that, I think you'll at least give yourself an opportunity to make something happen. When you're constantly getting this in your ear and that in your ear and people are back here talking all around you and, you know, they're causing a lot of distractions in your life, it's hard to really focus in on an opportunity like Pink Zebra, okay? And people are backstabbing you, you know, telling you, you know, this that people, people in this opportunity don't make any money, that it's not really real. Yeah, it's hard to believe when you have people like that in your ear and especially when you are taking advice from people who probably haven't proven themselves in an opportunity like this, right? So I challenge you to get behind people who have done something in this business. Okay, if you don't have any friends in direct sales, then you need to go, you should be reading, you know, books on the business, okay? But listening to this all day, you got to tune all that negativity out, all right? It's hard, to be, it's hard for many people to believe that anything other than a normal nine to five job working as an employee for a company can be stable or that it can or that you can truly create your own destiny with an opportunity like Pink Zebra. Okay? Um, there's a saying, I know I'm gonna mess it up, right? Um, and it's something it's something to the it's something to, to the well, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to blow it. But the, the, the whole idea, anyway, all right. So you can't for a minute listen to noise like that, you guys, okay? Self-doubt kills dreams. And I don't, well, there's enough of that going on, okay? Um, so don't buy into that. It's real, okay? I'm a, it's real, okay? Um, so whether you've just decided to join pink zebra or maybe you know or maybe you decide to move on to another opportunity and that's fine um if you are ready to shoot your business forward to a new level you must consciously decide to make a true commitment okay a commitment to yourself and your family that you are doing everything in your power to make it work a true commitment is doing what you said you're going to do long after the feeling has passed when you said it. It's one thing to say you're going to do something. It's another to commit to it wholeheartedly, knowing that it won't be easy, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Okay? Um, and it's easy to say I'm committed, right? But let's think about what true commitment really is. Thank you, Jackie. Now, you may all not be, you, all right, you all may not be parents. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a parent, okay, I'm, unfortunately. Um, that didn't quite happen for me, but you all have parents, so let's think about what it takes bringing a child into this world. Do you say, well, baby Jane, this looks like fun. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but we'll just give it a try and, well, if things don't work out in six months, then, well, okay, no. You don't say that, right? <laughs> because you made a commitment to baby Jane. You committed to do everything in your power to successfully raise her. Will you make mistakes? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have a lot to learn? Along the way, yes, definitely. But you made a commitment. You made a true commitment, and you have to follow through. So for a lot of us, quitting isn't an option. 
okay? But unfortunately, there's quite a few that do. And I learned long ago from a, a, a mentor years ago, he simply says, look, you have to simply bless them and release them, okay? Um, sometimes it's easier to give birth than to raise the dead, right? And that's true when it comes to trying to revive a consultant who is just long gone, okay? No amount of preaching, no amount of phone calls is going to get that person to come back. It's just easier to release them and bless them and just find some new blood. This is, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game, okay? And, um, you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, so the mindset transformation is really what it is. It's a mindset transformation that can't be taken lightly. It has to be a true shift in the way that you approach your business. It's an all-in approach, and it involves recognizing that there will be obstacles to power you through, but your focus has to stay on those stars. Okay? You have to let the dings of everyday life just roll off. Okay? Let it ping right off of your rocket ship. Okay? Now, how can you set yourself up to make sure that you and your rocket ship are strong enough to endure this. Fuel your mind, okay? As I said earlier, you need to constantly be refueling your mind by reading, attending these Pink Zebra events. When you're around other like-minded individuals, that gives you a sense of, you know, of um, rejuvenation. It increases your belief especially when you're in front of leaders like myself who are no different than you. I mean, I remember like it was yesterday attending the rally in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, listening to Sandy Parkey, the top income earner in the, in, the, in, the, in the business. And at that time, I think she was maybe a director. Okay, a director. Okay, a director. And I'm sitting there just like you were in Pink Zebra rallies, sitting in the chairs, sucking in all this information my belief was just becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. And I went and I, and I asked those tough questions. I sought advice from these leaders. And I said, you know, one day I want to be that one in front of that podium training and leading a rally presentation just like Sandy Parkey was. Okay, and I visualized it. Everything that I do, you guys, there's... There's so much power in visualizing your success. It's unbelievable if people will just buy into it. it it's, it's, it's very powerful. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing. But I've done it so much over the last five years. It's just second nature for me now. Everything that I want, I visualize it first. And then I just do everything. And, and I just find that the universe just starts aligning people in my in my path. It's, 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 um, anyway. Okay. So again, get to events, get on training webinars. Okay. Um, seek advice from others who have been successful. As I said, stop, as I said earlier, stop taking business advice from your broke friends. We all have them. You just got to cut them loose. Okay. When it comes to your business, Okay, and get with those people who have done something that can feed that passion that you have so you don't give up and fall victim. Okay, in other words, mind your mind, invest in learning and in your own personal growth. Avoid all negativity if possible. Don't let yourself get caught up in any drama, self-doubt, fear, hesitation, or procrastination. Literally, avoid and turn off any negativity from others, okay? You may think you can weather it and rise above it, but negativity can bring even the strongest rocket ship down to earth, even if you engage at all. So just refrain, right? It's self-discipline here, okay? Again, it's that 
mindset transformation. Okay, that's what we're trying to get you to. Okay, be realistic. Anything worth achieving isn't going to be easy, right? I think a lot of you know this. You know, we're not. This is not a um a, a, a get rich quick scheme. No. Okay, but there are a lot of them out there. But this one ain't it. All right. Um, you're not going to get there without personal growth, hard work, and persistence. You have to wake up every day and make the decision to stay the course and move forward no matter what. Yes, you will deal with adversities, obstacles, and yes, out-of-stock um, situations with our products, okay? We all have been embarrassed by that, putting in orders and accepting someone's invoice only to find out that the product has been discontinued, okay? Um, all right, we all have had unsuccessful parties, you know? You show up. And it's just you and the host, right? But you can even turn situations like that into a positive. You do the party anyway. Nine times out of ten, that host is going to buy something just because. Or you turn that into a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, hey, well, look, it's just me and you, babe. So let's go ahead and let's make it happen. I'm going to demonstrate this product. I'm going to show you how we're going to make money. I'm going to, I, I want to, you know, hear your pain and what it is that I can do to try to help solve your problem. So you can flip even the most dire situation, the most bleak party into something positive and end up possibly signing up a person that can add two or 300 people into your downline just like that. Okay. So, all right. Um, all righty. Let's see here. Uh, Woo! And we all have heard a whole lot of no thank yous. That's just accept it. It is what it is. We're in direct sales. All right. It's just not personal. Okay. So I think when you take the personal out of it, you know, it makes it a little bit easier, you know. Um, but I don't know. I mean, we all end up feeling some kind of way and then and, and freaking out behind it. But that's, you just have to kind of know that that's what you're in. You know, it's a whole lot of no's. But at the end of the day, all you need is a couple of yeses, okay? Um, I, I, you know, when I joined, it was me, my kit, and my dog, Chloe. That was it. I sponsored, I think, three or four people in my first couple of weeks just by doing a few events, allowing people to smell the product. They were checking out my, my sprinkle bar setup. It wasn't too big. It wasn't too grand at that time. I only had two or three cartons. I set up my display kit and people would come by and they either one, two things would either happen. Well, two, well, mostly two things would happen. They either want to sign up as a customer or they want to learn about the opportunity and sign up and make money like me. I did that over and over and over and over and over for two years. Some of you may be doing vendor events. Some of you may be focusing on doing parties. It doesn't matter. Some of you are probably out here just talking and, and sharing, you know, just sharing product samples. It don't matter. You need to get out and chat it up. Talk to people. That's what I did. And in my first year, I think I sponsored close to 50 people. I think since I've been in the opportunity, I've sponsored literally 150 or 60 people. And from that, maybe 30% are actually working the business. The other people have already either quit or stopped working. But those 30 people... I mean, but those, but, but that 30%, yeah, roughly 40, 40 people put in over 1500 people in my downline and I'm earning a residual off, you know, um, up to a certain point. I'm not going to go into the whole compensation plan, but you know, but I'm just saying you, you're going to get a whole lot of no's, but all you need is just two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen 10, 15 yeses. Cause you never know who those people who when they start chatting it up and doing events and doing the things that you do that made you successful because we are about duplication. So when they go out and they start doing home parties and home shows, they may start bringing in, you know, new blood and, and sponsoring new people. For you know, you have a team all across the country. And when we start going into Canada, now you have an opportunity to bring the entire continent uh, or country underneath you. Ooh. Okay. So, with that being said, you cannot expect success overnight. We live in a microwave society. I think we all realize that. Um, everybody wants everything instantaneously. They don't want to wait for anything. But in the world of direct sales, 
business does not happen that quickly, okay? Um, a lot of you will probably end up falling off, okay? But we expect that in this industry, okay? Um, and they simply move on to the next big thing, okay? Um, make a few excuses, and unfortunately, they end up justifying their decisions, right? So what, like I say, all you can do is just bless them and release them. All right. So don't let that be you. You made a commitment to yourself. Stay the course. I personally gave it 12 to 18 months. Okay. Um, okay. There have been many people, including myself, you know, on YouTube that have been super excited. Um, the vision has been crystal clear in their mind. The belief is strong. They were on track, making progress. Then they end up landing a few adversities here, a few little naysayers there, taking advice from their broke friends, making excuses, and before you know it, they're no logging shooting for the stars, but instead they're engaged in this down world, downward death spiral. So be vigilant, zebras. Be diligent. Stay the course. In addition to shifting your perspective to a mindset of success, you must be willing to implement effective actions. All right? So what are some of these actions that I'm talking about? First, always identify what your goals are. Write those goals down. Develop action plans to achieve those goals and then hit it full speed ahead. Research shows that one of the keys to success in direct sales is hitting the ground running or hitting the skies with all engines burning. Those who are successful, they don't wait till their kit to arrive. They don't wait until the weather is better. They don't wait until the kids are back in school. You get the picture? Okay, many superstars in direct sales invest the time right up front. I was just telling you that, all right? If you have the mindset of, oh, I'm going to just sit back and I'm going to just let it do what it do. I guarantee you a person with that kind of mindset, they're not going to be around very long. And I'm not going to be investing a whole lot of time in someone like that either. I, I mean, that's not using my resources to their very best, okay? All I can do is simply show them, hey, look, you can make a few sales, you can make some extra cash here, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking for some rock stars and some superstars who really want to make change, all right? Um, you all know I'm available to help anybody, but to sit here and try to let someone be a mental drain on me because, you know, they're just sitting back wanting to see what it do, Okay, I mean, I'm working with the same amount of hours as you all are. And I'm also trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to promote to the next level too. So I'm out here hustling and grinding just like all y'all, you know. And I'm trying to coach and mentor and do videos and trainings and all the other stuff. And I work full time and, you know, and all that good stuff too. So, all right. Um, but what separates us, a rock star from someone who's kind of a little laid back, you know, a little nonchalant, is that we are consistent. And we do a whole lot in a, in a, in a condensed amount of time. Okay? So, like I said, I did 7 to 10 events a month. And I stayed consistent with that from January 5th, when I got my kit, until end of the year, you know, but I knew in the first 30 days that this wasn't, I wasn't leaving. Okay. So it, it happened quick for me. Um, but I did a whole lot in that amount of time. I introduced the products, right. Um, and the opportunity to join the business. A lot of you are missing that part. You're selling the products. But you know how many customers that have bought from me and said they actually have bought product from another consultant and they had no idea that it was a direct sales opportunity? Then I come along and I feel like, uh, like well, damn. <laughs> you know, and now they want to sign up with me 
because Betty Jo, you know, didn't do, didn't complete the, the second half of the, of the transaction. You guys have got to let these shoppers know some way or another when you're bagging up the product, when you're slapping your label on something, you know, when you're, whatever it is, you've got to inter let them know by any means necessary. Hey, by the way, if you didn't know, or if this is not for you, this may be something for somebody. We are an opportunity business and I'm looking for people who are looking to looking for pink zebra okay and that's all you gotta say then let them respond they'll even say oh okay this sounds like something I think I would like to do too or you know this may not be for me but I have a girlfriend that may be open or you know I don't know if I want to sell but do you do parties right okay so if you're not hooking that business opportunity piece to it you're just what they say opportunities don't okay there's a saying out there that says opportunities just don't go away they simply just pass on to the next person so you guys understand pink zebra we are growing there are a lot of us out here now okay people are looking for the product they're looking for us now okay and unfortunately if you're not dropping those phrases to these people they're going to find someone who is. I signed up a lady today. A woman today. She called me up. She didn't even know who I was. She, you know, found me some way. But she had bought the product. Loved the product. Met the Pink Zebra Consultant at an event. Maybe, you know, a year or so ago. Somehow they lost connection. Right? Maybe the timing wasn't right. The consultant didn't stay on task with putting this, putting Crystal into the, um, you know, in, into her uh, Rolodex, and they lost connection. So she found me. Don't even know. My name popped up somewhere, and she called. She joined my business today. We talked this morning. You see, so. Opportunities don't go away. They simply roll on to the next person. All right? I want that to be you. So, you, you know, do your part now, okay? Because people are coming and they're looking for us. All right. Um, okay, so again, people like me and other leaders in, in, in direct sales business and people like you, okay? who want something big out of this, they get it off the ground and they set the pace for future growth. They go full throttle implementing massive action. They make a lot of contacts in a short amount of time. Um, if they have to identify 20, tw I'm sorry, 20 people to talk to, they don't do it over a month. They do it in the first hour, right? They book as many parties as they can, as many as their calendar can hold. We also take and we keep notes of everybody who says no, because we know to follow back up with them, you know, in a, you know, in, in a certain amount of time and realizing that no does not mean never. It just simply means what? It just simply means not now. That no is not the end, it's only the beginning. And I promise you, I would not be here in Pink Zebra if the woman who originally sponsored me did not call me back. Because I told her unequivocally, no, I'm not interested, da, 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 da. that's the end of it, thank you, no thank you. So, I thought we were done. I get a phone call two weeks later. Oh, okay, hey, what's up? Okay, Tara, well, I know you said you didn't want to sign up. And I'm not calling you to sign me. I just want to know, can I count on your support? Can you order a jar of sprinkles from me and a simmering pot for 25 bucks or whatever it was? I said, sure. Whatever it took to move forward, I bought it. And changed my life. All because she didn't take my initial no as a never uh, or the end it was the beginning of something quite wonderful but my original response to her was no so take that 
and use and apply that, you guys. You know, um, make sure you're calling those contacts when you get. Okay, I, I can. You you know what to do. Okay. All right. We book vendor events. We hand out catalogs. I just ordered a hundred catalogs. A hundred catalogs. A hundred bags. A hundred brochures. I'm making a hundred samples and I'm stapling to my business card. I'm going to put all of that into a goodie bag. And I'm going to go to businesses in my community, dentist offices, um, uh, libraries. I'm going to go to um, insurance companies, um, these small mom and pop offices around where I live, uh, salons. And I'm going to actually walk in, introduce myself to the, everybody likes something free. I'm going to introduce myself to them. Hey, I'm the candle lady in town. I just want to know if I can stop in and give you, I'll give you guys some free goodies. You know, they're going to say, well, what is it? I'm going to give bags out to people. Okay. I'm going to also grab some business cards while I'm at it. I'm going to be following up with these people. If they got my, 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 my catalog and my freebies. It ain't just for free for free. It is, but it ain't. I'm going to do business. But I got to introduce introduce it to these people first, okay? So that's what I'm going to do differently in 2017. Like I said, catalogs, bags, and brochures are going into employees and co-workers' hands. Why? Because, one, I know they have, they, they have a home or someplace where they're going to go at the end of the workday. Two, they have a check. They're making money, and more than likely, you know, they're stressed out. So, you know, they probably need what I have. And we have free shipping now. So I'm really going to play that, that up. So that's my strategy. What's yours? What's your strategy for 2017 to get to the next level? Okay? All right. Um, gosh, there's just so much, man. I mean, all right. So... Oh, boy. Oh, don't forget, wear your pink zebra. Okay, I don't have my, my little brooch on, but wear your pink zebra brooch. Um, your, you know, your products. See, I wore my choker today, you know, to work. You know, the nice smelly one. It smells amazing. Um, your, your, you know, your t-shirts, your handbag. Something keep samples in there, whatever, all right? So leaders do that. Every opportunity to get the word out, we're, you know, we're, we're trying <laughs> to do that, okay? Um, they find a way to introduce it, to give samples. They make the extra minutes in their schedule knowing that in the end it will pay off. And their future will become more flexible. Am I working as hard as I was four years, well, four years ago or three years ago? No, I'm not doing seven to ten events. But that's what it take. That's what it took to get massive, to get massive action going. Okay. So now I've kind of scaled back a bit. I'm doing close to maybe three to five events in some form or fashion. Okay, a month, right? Because we also know. That business building activities never stop. All right. But you will get to a point where it starts to level off a bit. And you can kind of get back into some kind of normal routine. But I'm constantly investing and reinvesting in my business because, you know, we are in the business of changing lives. And in order for my business to continue to thrive, I have to continue to share, sprinkle, and sponsor. All right. Communicating, okay, so investing, investing yourself in this, in this level of consistent, condensed activity will take communicating with your families, getting everyone on the same page saying, hey, look, mom is busy for the next 30 to 60 to 90 days. And I may not be available to wash your clothes, to clean your toilet, your bathrooms, you know, you guys are big now. I need for you to help support me so that our lives will be much better in the long run if you can do your part and allow mom to do hers, okay? Less sleep. 
Yes. Those that do this are more focused. They realize that they may sleep a little less and invest any free time in business building activities while they get their business off the ground or bumped to that next level. The tenacity to stay the course, it takes courage. It takes a lot. It takes courage, you guys, to get up here, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and, and take these, oops, hold on a minute, uh, uh, hold on a second here. S T O N E one two oh nine. Okay. Wow, it's nine thirty. Good lord. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, I've been up here preaching. All right. So anyway, that's actually pretty much it. Tenacity, you guys. Um, it takes courage to be out here. It ain't easy, but it's a lot of fun. It is. You're meeting people. You're interacting. You're changing lives. You're making money. You're building your belief. You're also changing lives by sponsoring people. Um, some will, some won't. So what? Who's next? Okay? You just got to keep going, you know? Make that money. Sponsor some people. Along the way, two or three years down the road, I look at this as like investing in the stock market. Okay? It may not pay me the kind of money I want initially, but if I keep investing in Time flies when you're talking. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Yes, as you. That's why you know a lot. Of, they like for me to come do the rallies because this is the kind of information that I, you know, that I share when I do the rallies. Um, and um, anyway, so yeah, because I kind of throw in a lot of side stuff and make it my own. I take the information, but I try to make it all personable and relatable. Okay, so um, let's see here. That's, yeah, so reach out to the new markets. Try something new. Um, just keep trying, keep following up with those who may have said no. People's needs and situations change. Oh my gosh, okay? If it's up, I'm sorry, if, if it's to be, it's up to me, okay? Remind yourself that there are many very successful people in Pink Zebra and direct sales and network marketing that we have found a way to make it work. And you have to do the same, okay? Because there's a lot of money to be made. And like I told you earlier, you know, there's something really special about Pink Zebra that makes us a different player in this game, unlike some of these other direct sale companies out there, okay? Um, go for it. Have the right mindset. And, and leaders and people like, we don't look back. Don't look back. Try not to, okay? Um... Let's see. You will always have to work your business to be successful. This is working your business all out. And let's see. Um, yeah, okay. You may find you need to do multiple things through the okay. OK, 